All right, next morning, uh, we made it to, I forget the name of the shelter. Um, shelter is right back there. You can probably see a nice little pipe spring here um, and nice little tent sites behind the shelter. So stayed here. Um, rough day yesterday. Um, only made, well, not only, 14 and a half mile day. Um, I kind of want to be real. I feel like all the videos are all sunshine and rainbows, but the trail's not all sunshine and rainbows. Um, my body, I feel like, is literally just eating itself away. So I've dropped probably 30 pounds at least, at least, since I started. And uh, every day, like, physical-wise, I feel like it's gotten harder and harder. And I know the terrain's gotten harder and harder, like, people's mileage drop off a little bit, but um, every day is really a challenge for me, uh, physically and mentally, because it's just, like, convincing yourself, like, it's not just you, dude. Um, and I have a ton of other, like, physical ailments going on that like I just ugh, they're just all coming together and causing all sorts of ridiculousness and uh, yeah yesterday was rough rough I was just essentially hiking to end the day like I at no point wanted to be hiking yesterday um, and I kind of feel the same today which sucks because supposedly there's a nice little view coming up first thing in the morning and uh, yeah aiming for a 17 but I, with how my body's been feeling everything is just falling apart right now we will see what happens and we'll take it from there i have no intention on giving up so let's just make that clear it's just a rough day and they happen they do um sometimes i don't film them sometimes i do sometimes i try to stay cheery but today is just ugh. so we're gonna climb we're gonna get going today see how the day treats us It's at the top of the mountain, a uh, nice little fire tower up here, but hazy day, unfortunately. But you can kind of see out there, supposedly you can see Greylock from here, you can see Monadnock in New Hampshire, a bunch of other stuff, but pretty cool view, nevertheless. So, man, beautiful. I have a feeling that is probably Greylock, maybe. Don't quote me on it, I have no idea. <laughs> Stopped at the, I think it's called Storybrook Shelter for some lunch. It was about nine miles to there. I feel a little bit better, um, you know, just because whatever. Full of food, carrying on some nice views. Uh, not even like views out, like the trail itself has just been uh, pretty nice today. So I think you've seen that. At least I hope I included some of them. So I filmed a bunch of shots of it, but carrying on, I think I'm going to aim for the top of Stratton Mountain today. So. Um, it'll be like a 17 mile day, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's uh, about 2 o'clock now, and I'd have about 7 more miles to go, so see what happens. So, I've done messed up. <laughs> We're hiking now up the side of Stratton Mountain, or uh, a little ways up, not too far up. Um, and I seem to have misread in both the guidebook and gut hook that I was thinking for some reason there was a cabin on top of the mountain that you could stay on, but it turns out it's just a caretaker's cabin. The way I read it, I thought, according to the comments and gut hook and stuff, I was thinking people were staying there and there was just a cabin with a caretaker. <sighs> Wonderful. So to get to the top of Stratton Mountain, it'll be almost a 17 mile day, I think it was 16.9. And to get down to the next 
supposedly decent campsite is still another three at least after that. And it's already four or something and I'm not hiking at a very fast pace, so might be doing some night hiking this evening. Woohoo! Alright, so I'm probably pretty echoey, it's very echoey up here. No windows open, which seems a little odd, but uh, yeah, we're here at the top of Stratton Mountain and uh, a beautiful, beautiful view up here for sure. It is, a set, it is unfortunately a little bit hazy still, but man, beautiful. Next morning, so we came down Stratton last night. Um, as I said, I misread the book. <laughs> no cabin up there to stay in, no camping, no tenting. So I uh, made my way down the mountain, found a little spot, um, not ideal. And in fact, I'm pretty sure this is an old road, uh, TP Road, I think it says. It's also listed as a way to uh, bypass Stratton Mountain in bad weather, but a lot of people tended here. There's a whole like youth group here last night too. Um, so. Unfortunate. Uh, and yeah, we'll carry on with the day. Um, no exact plan. It poured last night too, by the way. Poured. Like sideways rain for a little while. But gonna head. I'm aiming at least for 14 and something. I think it's Brawell something mountain. Apparently you can camp up there. Um, so that's the plan currently, but we'll see how we feel. Made it just a short distance to Stratton Pond. Absolutely beautiful right now in the morning. Supposedly you can go swimming here too, but not gonna do that. But take a look at this view. Now, I've had a lot of northbounders and southbounders <laughs> tell me that the mud in Vermont is not too bad. I don't know if we were hiking in a different Vermont, <laughs> but the mud has been pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty deep too in some parts. You put your pole in, it goes like halfway down. <sighs> I mean, you know, you jump over it, you walk through it, whatever you have to do, but. There's mud. There's a good amount of it too. So, <laughs> trudging on, we're in some wilderness area. I forget the name. Maybe that's why there's so much. And uh, yeah, pushing on. Day's going pretty good so far. So, I don't know if you can see that. You can see your breath out here today. So, crazy. Right, so just ran down a spruce peak shelter down there nice little shelter and um, ate some lunch refueled the good to go we're heading to the Bromley shelter um, weather is supposed to be iffy tonight uh, I would like to make more mileage than that I think it's it'll be 14 and something for the day um, but if you go to the top Bromley shelters here the peak of Bromley mountains like right up here just a little bit and supposedly it's a ski resort um, and they just have like surfaces up there as far as like hiker there's a privy they leave a little warming cabin open so you can camp in there or you can just camp on top of the fields there or the ski slopes if you will so I might do that tonight we'll see how it goes see how the weather plays out so we just loaded up water probably shelter we're heading up just checked out the little vista behind us we're heading up to the top, so we're gonna camp on top of a ski resort apparently. Let's go, let's go. So we're making our way up Bromley, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's up over that hill, but it could just be a million false summits. But 
I turned around. I'm glad. Glad I turned around. Not sure what uh, ski slope we're on, but check out the view. Made it to the top of Bromley Mountain. And uh, as I said, the ski resort up here, they let you chill out. They don't care. They got a privy over there. They leave, that's a warming cabin during ski season. They leave that open so you can come hang out, chill. But we're gonna camp up here. I'm gonna set my tent up and then it's gonna rain, of course. But beautiful, like little mountain views up here, too. So maybe we'll get a cool sunset. We'll see. Until tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find. Next morning, I think I said it before, maybe I did not, but I said, if it's raining from now on, I'm gonna be blogging, vlogging, videoing with the GoPro. So the rain days, the vlogs are gonna look a little different, but I don't wanna destroy my Sony camera anymore. So uh, we woke up on top, of course, I think it's Bromley Mountain Ski Resort, so tented out here. And stay in the shelter back there. I chose to tent out. I, I sleep better in my tent. So, did rain a decent amount last night, and it's foggy this morning, and the weather's supposed to be iffy. So, can't win them all. Cool little area to stay in for sure. All right, so we've gone probably about a mile, maybe a little more, and uh, the rain, luckily, knock on pole, has not started again. And I talked to a southbounder who said it's actually supposed to break up a little. I can see a little bit of blue sky up there, but I don't know. It has a bad weather vibe out today, but um, not too bad. Trails today looking nice and green. Very lush where we are right now. Very wet too, very, I don't know if you can hear that, very mucky. I'm not hiking in boxers. They're just very tight spandex or something. Don't ask questions. We're making our way up to Stiles Peak, and I think we're nearing the top anyway. But uh, the area we are in is just like the super, super dense forest. Reminds me very much of the White Mountains in New Hampshire. And uh, I wish you guys could smell. I wish there was smell-o-vision <laughs> in video land. Just smell like the smell here. It's, it's such a distinct nature aroma, if you will especially after the rain and like at a certain elevation too I feel like it's like whoo smells good so carrying on moving on the sun keeps trying to break through um, with varied results hopefully we'll get a view or two near the top and if not there's another view supposedly on the way down from this mountain too so see what happens <laughs> Made it to Stiles Peak, and the view, not too bad. Unfortunately, the clouds are still whatever a little bit, but for the most part, it's a pretty solid view. So we're gonna carry on momentarily, and supposedly uh, there is another view down the way, not of this peak, so we go down a little, it levels off, I guess, and uh, supposedly there's a nice view down that way too, so we're climbing up the peak, it's a nice, steep climb, jabby stabby rocks. Probably shouldn't be recording, but there's this magnificent view behind me. Uh, so yeah, you bet I'm gonna record. And uh, it is sunny again. But kept recording with the GoPro because I already started the day with it. I'm gonna finish it. So it's hard uh, juggling two cameras with videos, you know, editing on the trail. Man, beautiful view. So we made it to Little Rock Pond. There's a shelter here, which is where I was aiming to stay. And uh, man, beautiful, beautiful pond up here. Take a look. Crazy. Very, very pretty. We're gonna carry on. See if we can't get set up before the rain gets even worse. Mm -hmm. 